ass white track. <laughs> you can't beat it. Don't click under the influence. No survival. Internet, we finish up zombie flux. We're switching over to star flux. That whiskey is mine. We've switched over to star flux, and we have two great new whiskeys coming at you this week. I'm gonna leave it to Lenny to introduce those whiskeys, and then we're gonna go into some of the rules of gameplay. And of course, Sigma here is going to help. Today we are meet, we are having the Yamazaki 12 and the Takasuru 12. Both Japanese whiskeys can be best uh, described as what they are not. And they are very close to, but not exactly, Highland whiskeys. The Highland Scotch whiskeys. So, um, the Yamazaki like, stands up to any other Highland Scotch. Uh, with the blind test test, you wouldn't know the difference. But besides that, it doesn't really stand up by itself. The Taksuru, um, that actually very much reminds me of the Glenlivet 15. Those sound promising. And to go with them, we've got Star Flux. Now, Star Flux is very different from Zombie Flux. Zombie Flux is a more creeper heavy form of flux. This one is more focused on the interaction between the keepers. So, we really need to pay attention to what these keepers do and how they interact. Because some of them will allow you to steal a keeper from someone else while others will allow you to simply pretend that you have that keeper in front. So we need to pay care of The most important difference that we have in Star Flux is that we have surprise cards now. Zombie Flux can have surprise cards. Surprise cards can be used either in or out of your turn with varying effects. So we'll see how those get used throughout the game. Unfortunately, the breathalyzer failed on us for this one. Somebody had gotten a little bit of liquor inside the sensor so that it's no longer reading accurate. It's saying that everybody's blowing a .500, not a .050, but a .500. Since we're not all dead, we're going to assume that the breathalyzer is wrong and we're just going to forgo measuring our BAC for this game. Hopefully it's still entertaining enough and find something to sip along with. Alright, game's ready, let's jump right into it! So, everybody <laughs> pull your cards up, uh, creepers go down automatically, and I believe Dark goes first. What are we drinking, first? Are we drinking oh, yeah. to start? I believe we should start with uh, the Yamazaki. Yamazaki sounds nice, which is the point classes. Yes. Our blank glasses. Blank glasses. Salute! It's good. You know. Yeah. Sorry, it's got a kind of teleporter. Oh, cold. Actually, <laughs> I like that teleporter. Creeper reassignment. I like the teleporter. That's not a creeper. creeper. Oh, it's a creeper. Oh, I didn't read this right. Oh. Goes into the discard. Fizzle, fizzle. The, the creepers and the keepers and the keepers. Your and spell the keepers fizzles. The keepers. <laughs> yeah. It'd be better if they like picked. Like, Speaking some... of the TARDIS. Oh, I have the time trap. Oh, and that is a Doctor Who. <laughs> yes. Because that is a TARDIS. Dear Very God. obvious. Except it's brown. Well, well, it could be a. Uh, it's not licensed. <laughs> it's a Doctor Who reference. This is not. The TARDIS, it is a TARDIS-like object. There's actually right, a well, Bill the Bill and Ted be a TARDIS reference? Kind of. Probably. Nah. Uh, I know where they got the idea. And there was no current Doctor Who. Anyhow. Yeah, but there was no George Carlin in Doctor Who. That's they true. Alright, so yeah. what do we got? I'm playing, playing George the computer Carlin. every day. Yeah. If I have the computer on the table, I get to draw and play one extra card per turn. I can also exceed hand and keeper limits by one. Wow. Damn, we never read that. No. You can't. I'm a computer. There is still no win condition for this Love game. The dog. <laughs> Wait, he's still got to play. <laughs> <laughs> you monster! I'm also going to play the cute and fuzzy alien creature. Oh, oh my god, he's so Can we have one? 
<laughs> that caused much contention in our last game with this. I mean, if I have this card on the table, I have to move it to the next player when my turn ends. And each time the card goes into the discard pile, move it to the top of the draw pile instead. <laughs> All right, well, so it's a triple. Yeah, that's my second play, so it just moves to the next There, play. he gave you one. <laughs> it just basically follows around for whatever turn it is. All right, so my turn? Yes, ma'am. Wait, is it not going? It's not going. It doesn't, it doesn't. At the end of your turn. Yeah. But it just says move to the next player. Oh, the next player. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Hey, my favorite card. Draw three, play two of them. No, seriously. This is my favorite card. I love it so much. We will be married next spring. Hey! <laughs> hey! She has gotten that hey. every game so far. Hey, girl! Hey, girl! It's We're like our to... other catchphrase. Hey, girl! Go. Play three. Yeah, no, don't draw no, three. Alright, draw one. One. I thought I was the literal one. Draw a lemon. Play five. Screw this. Alright, space jackpot. <laughs> five. Draw five cards and then add this them card to two, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Alright, discarding brain transference and and warm. <laughs> Okay. Now I need to play two for my draw three plus eight. Well, you have to play the second one. Yeah. Those. Yeah. This is two. Um. Nah. Nah. I think we have to watch that. All right. Okay. Although you know most of the references. What? What? My name is Betty. <laughs> nah. Play unseen <laughs> force. All right. So. Wee wee. I'm going to steal a keeper of the computer, please. Thank you. And All right. Now I like the computer. I liked having the extra draw in place so that I can maybe find a good combination of stuff to use. I probably wouldn't have actually been able to do anything because it kind of suck at the game, but I miss it. So I will now draw and play one extra. Mm. That one extra play will increase it to draw two, so I will draw one more. Yes, yes. What does the cute and fuzzy alien creature do? It's Go to Lenny at the end. part of the wind limit uh, for a lot of the balls. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think of it like the uh, potato, radioactive potato. Except it's a keeper, not a creeper. Yep. So my turn's over. It's a two-worm! Okay. Oh, <coughs> so the draw two? Yes. It's... Ah! Sorry, my bad. You drunk, Lenny, go home. I want like a laser sword. <laughs> a laser sword. Oh, I thought it was, oh, God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Once per turn. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Once per turn, if this is on the table, you can discard yeah. any keeper in front of you if it has a keeper attached to it. So you don't have a keeper. Yeah. So. Now the keeper's in. Alright, you know, just because I want things to move along. Yes, no trouble at all. Oh. Cute fuzzy alien. So if you leave that on the table for both of your turns, he will win. Are you you're forcing the game? No, he's forcing somebody to do something about it. Okay. Unfortunately, it's still, still forcing. She's got a shit card, so she bet she has a goal. I'm forcing something specific to happen in the game, preferably a goal change. All right, my first play is going to change to play four. I have three more cards. I'm going to change the draw rule to draw four, draw two more cards. Yeah, occasionally it looks like I have a plan. This is an illusion. See, we're we're starting to move along. All right, I'm going to play the Sonic Sledgehammer. All players, including me, must discard a keeper from the table. I decide which keeper each player discards. Players with no keepers in play must discard a random card from their hand. If someone has the Time Traveler on the table, that player discards nothing. Yeah, but he gets to so discard this, so he did do something about the goal. But it goes no. on to the top draw pile. The draw pile. So you just give it back there. <laughs> well, maybe. 
Oh, it it goes oh because that it, gets discarded, that gets discarded, and throw away your damn computer. Oh, another double one. <laughs> he says throw away their oh, computer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not but he still has the potential for a win. Yes. You left him with the potential for a win. Well, I also have to play, play two more cards. That is right. Oh. So he could do something about that teleport. I'm going to change the goal to alien artifacts. Okay. Is, there, right. is that a monolith? Yes. yes. <laughs> it actually is a card called monolith. And then I am going to do a let's simplify to discard the player. Ooh! See, you can tell the people who have played Salt this game before because they'll leave the draw rule and fuck with the play rule. Yep. I'm a bit of a dick. Hopefully, this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. It does leave things interesting because it keeps everybody at a zero hand count, yeah, but, but it slows down the game. So. Well, it actually it kind of speeds up because there's no decision making. It's okay. I guess I got it. Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll play the one card I fucking got. <laughs> I also really like that other one. The uh, person to the left of you chooses the your first play. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play. What do you want? And I know the card that I want. My favorite card. Draw three, play two. two. Your trap card? <laughs> Not space jackpot, obviously, because that's way the fuck better. This, this, well, you know. So draw three. That's his. Oh. All right. <laughs> Somebody just had a peated Irish. <laughs> Okay. Unlikely it will be repurchased. Like, drink out of my glasses. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we have given the breathalyzer enough of a break. So. Nope. Looks like that breathalyzer is still out of commission. Hopefully, it comes back soon. Uh, For an entire year, every time we had a new class with Lenny that we did Whoa. not know he was in. Oh, we should have played two back all the time. Thank you. Every time we had a new class with Lenny, he'd be like, oh, oh, snap! Have you guys seen that YTMD yet? Yes. What? YTMD? Oh, snap. YTMD.com. Or, yeah, dot org, whatever. Dot com. I think I'm going to use Beam Us Up, and all, play, all beings in play are returned to the hands of their owner, unless someone has the teleport chamber in play, in which case that player takes all beings in play and adds them to their hand. To your hand. Yes. Does the keeper come as a being? No, 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 he's only a, if it has a brain. brain at the top. He's a oh. being. Brain is a being, so you took my time traveler. Yes. Oh, shit. Are you going to do the robot? <laughs> no. Maybe after the next one. <laughs> One, two, sorry. One, two, back, three, ah, ah, four, ah. five. Alrighty. Sweet. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of that, Yamazaki? Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Yeah, these are pretty big pores that I did for myself. <laughs> Sorry. It's a hard to pull one. Well, yeah, com compare them. Oh my god. We can make it for a little bit better. I want some more <laughs> of this one. I have another one. Have you got it? And then you multiply that by the height. Pi on yeah. square. Uh, what? No, circumference. It's circumference so you do it with pi calculus, but you should never drink and derive. But I want to. I'm sorry. I think I'm at it. Don't apologize for that. You do not get to apologize for that. <laughs> we set you up for that so well. All right, um, I was waiting for a uh, so calculus I've played good, right? First, I'm going to play. Drink and He's derive. dead, Captain. New goal. Uh, and then I am going to play. Well, me and the Captain are going to make it happen. Um, Is that Jeff? Does he get the duck? No, I do not. We're gonna no, call it Jack. I have no rubber. It's kind of like a. And I'm gonna play a laser pistol because it's just like laser pistol. And what's the laser pistol in Jack? If you have oh, uh, if you have this on the table, you may, can discard any keeper any in front of any player if it has a creeper attached to it. All right, you good? Wait, no. What's the captain do? 
He can steal the doctor, engineer, scientist, scientist or, or expendable crew. Oh, he always steals the doctor. <laughs> oh, those 21st century men. Oh! 21st century. They dance. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, Lisa beam it. I like how there's less creepers in this than in the zombies. Thanks, Paul. Oh, oh the are so happy. Mm. Not Pete and Whiskey happy, but. Okay, so I got two more plays, huh? Yeah. So proud to have. So, he's not dead, but that computer controls the life support system. <laughs> okay, what does that mean? Evil and the computer wins. Is Evil a creeper? Yep. Alright, all I have here is gold cards, so... I guess it's time to purge a little. Okay. Then I discard it. But there's lots of problems. Yeah. Can you use them? It's my turn. No, no I only played one. You're excited. I have excited. I've only played one. <laughs> what? That's a reference that you know I'll ever get. But he that is computer that controls the life support systems is on an Imperial Evil and what else? It's flux, not once upon a time. <laughs> oh, sorry. My bizzles. But now there's a hand limit of two. Ooh. Discard down to two, bitches! Woo! Phil's hatred of this hand limit is palpable. God, he doesn't like those things. Well, I'm gonna start by discarding the one that would let her win. Alright, I'm just gonna play three keepers. Wait, can you play three? You can play three! Let's play three. Uh, that's the end. Oh, and I gotta discard down two. Ooh, evil brain. Now I lose the evil brain. Alright, I'm gonna play three keepers. Alright, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna play one more. During your turn, if you have this on the table, you can discard brain parasites to pay attention to the start. Yeah. You don't Let's want go. them to attach to a What's the engineer do? Uh, if I have the engineer on the table, I can discard malfunction if it's attached to one of my cards. Wait, what can the But you can do? just discard malfunction? Yes. Yeah. I can and discard, can just discard brain parasites. What's the captain do? Uh, actually, yes. I will take your doctor. And I'm going to say... No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, taking go it. Ahead, take it. <laughs> He's just taking it. Nobody, nobody went to slide oh, it to yeah, him. All right, yeah. So when Lenny takes the doctor here, he's specifying that once per turn means once per any turn. Uh, I did a little research on this. It's your turn. Anytime once per turn appears, your turn only. The only cards that can be used out of turn are surprise cards. And that's no moon. That's no moon. moon. Put away. Sailor Moon! Put away. Land that's the not a moon! But I pooped from there! Right. Not right now, you, you don't. Oh, thank you. Cute and fuzzy. So, I drew evil. Oh, so shit. Oh, wait, no, you took, you took away my evil stuff. So. Keepers play, you must choose one to attach this to. Both cards stay together until discard. I'm obviously going to attach it to the one that's not going to be on me. <laughs> so, no, you can't let You have start. an evil, cute, fuzzy alien creature. Perfect. Aww. My favorite kind. Okay. It's a gremlin. <laughs> I didn't like it. I have no soul. Actually, it's. I don't like genre crossing, so the whole comedy horror thing was very strange for me. As well. It's a great so. Christmas movie. Not as good as Die Hard. Yeah. Die Hard is an odd Christmas movie. It's the best. Die Hard is a Christmas movie? I've actually never <laughs> it's seen all of Die Hard. It takes place at It's Christmas. always at Christmas. Oh, I've actually never seen Except it. Except for the new one they did, which is just arbitrary. 
It's just like some random day something happened. The hair with the midgets is on Christmas. Well, no, sorry. Uh, the, uh, the stars. Uh, and I heard five. That's a space station. A good day to Oh, no, not the newest, newest no. one. Oh, He's shit. He's got the moon. I had something to steal it. Was it the train diver? I'm going to use a veto. No, I think that was the one where they had the helicopter. If I play this during my turn, I can discard my choice of up to two new rule cards currently in play. I will just get rid of the hand limit card, because of the hand limits. Yes. Limitless freedom. At ZomboCom. Yeah, yeah, Well, there was a hand limit in play. I didn't realize. Not that I, I not that I was violated. I discarded the play as well, <laughs> but I already said the So, card. Cute Fuzzy is yours. Fuzzy is mine. He will keep the fun with the creeper. Creeper, I will draw three. Is it dropping? Fun. Two, three. You can get rid of the cute and fuzzy. I can yeah. give it to you. Oh, I can. With the laser pistol. And uh, you can put it on the top of the stack. But You're the, right. e the evil goes in there. You're right. Evil does go away. Buddy, so. you could kill evil. <laughs> <laughs> but why would I? <laughs> <laughs> And the award for worst evil laugh of all time goes to Lenny. Anyway, um. Oh, that's awesome. Is it? Yes. Do tell. I think. Um. Wait, are you going to start freaking it off? Uh, yeah, since we're we're bypassing our uh, BAC check for the middle, so now we're drinking the Nika. Salute. It's good. Okay. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's mm. better. Mm. Smooth like smooth. butter, right? Mm. But like kind of smoky. Yeah. yeah. Very smooth. It's only on the finish. Mm. It's weird. I could play three, right? Yes. Draw well, three, play three. You have to play three, not you can. I think. Uh, I'm yeah, no, I like that. I like that a lot better than that. You liked it last time we had two. Mm -hmm. um, I like it all the times. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play the scientist because, well, I don't know. Um, assembling quite the crew there. Yeah. All he needs is. And I'm going to play... That thing that you have, that he has some notice. Due to its nature, Flux isn't so much about strategy, and you're going to end up, like, if you try to strategize the game, you're going to end up either needing a card, or, oh my god, I just got rid of that card, or you're going to have nothing in your hand. But, it is about observation. So... Pay attention to what other people have, pay attention to how many cars they have, and especially with these themed games, because they have tricky little wordings in there. You'll have figured that out by this point, I hope. I do? Really? You won't let him poach my crew? It's okay. Well, it's okay, you're safe. I'm and gonna exchange keepers. Okay, we're exchanging keepers. I'm exchanging keepers with we're the doctor speaking. and the space station. So you can have the doctor and I'll have the space station. So that's play two? That's. No, I can play three. That's two for me. And then I will. Yeah. Surprise! Like, You've just activated my trap card. And I will take your small moon. Um, <sighs> and I believe with that, I have both the space station and the small moon. Which fulfills the goal. And a creeper. And a creeper that <laughs> prevents winning. Oh, I do? Oh, oh, I think I'm going to discard that, actually, with my laser pistol. Well, that was certainly an excellent game of Star Flux. We had some twists, some turns, and eventually Lenny was able to combo it up for the win. Now, Phil's somebody who's definitely played a decent amount of Flux, but this is his first game of Star Flux. Let's check in with him and see what he thinks of it. All right, now Starflux is actually pretty interesting. I really like all the genre references, and I think it strikes a good balance between 
like a zombie heavy game, like zombie or a creeper heavy game, like zombie flux, versus the stock flux that doesn't even have creepers. So it's a good balance there, and I really like that. The references are fun, but there's a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff that you have to remember to pay attention to, uh, more so than in the other games. But it's still great. I completely agree, Phil. This game definitely focuses more on the keeper interaction than the creepers. Now, what we find here is that if you're not careful with those keepers and what they do, if you don't pay attention, or if you don't read them at all, you'll end up with a gross derivation of the intended functionality. Well, we can certainly see towards the end of the game there, too, that it's very important to save up those surprise cards for when they're most valuable. Cards. Well, that about wraps it up. We certainly had a great time ourselves, and we definitely hope that you did as well. Hopefully you can join us next week for a few games of Cthulhu Flux. Stay classy, and as always, please drink responsibly. Cheers. Are you saying you played Flux before it was cool? I played Flux before expansions were a thing. Yeah, Surprise! Like... You've just activated my trap card.